Kansas Farm Bureau stopped by a local grocery store and asked customers what they would ask a farmer. We got puzzled looks, some deep thinking, and good questions. You'll find one of them here. So, do you have any questions for a farmer or rancher about your food? Um, I don't think so. I think my only question would be the, the argument and the debate over whether or not antibiotics and things like that are okay in your food or not is a, is a big concern. No, that's a really good question. We're actually going to ask a farmer to answer your question that you just asked and other, question, other people's questions. Providing this edition's answer is Charity Bathurst, who lives on a farm in Dickinson County with her six children and husband, Jeff. The family's farm includes cropland and cows. They grow wheat, alfalfa, corn, soybeans, and sunflowers. It's truly a family operation. Jeff's dad and brother work on the farm, too. Charity homeschools five of her kids and spends most of her time organizing the family schedule, preparing family meals, and working on the farm when she can. Are antibiotics in your food okay? I don't think so. I'm a mom and I prefer to to keep antibiotics out of out of my life unless they were necessary. Um, and so I don't believe antibiotics in our food are good. In fact, um, when we administer antibiotics to our animals, the purpose is to just like if I were to take my child to the doctor and they had an illness that needed antibiotics in order to be resolved, that's the only time I would allow my doctor to administer them to my child. So it's the same with our animals. Um, and so we prevent as many sicknesses as we can. That's why we have an annual vaccination and we, we just care for them on the preventative. And then in the event that there is a sickness, we will administer that. The FDA is, has regulated those antibiotics, so that is a protection for the consumer, of course. Um, there also is a, a withdrawal period between the administration of that antibiotic and before that animal can be slaughtered just to ensure that there isn't any antibiotic in that. I would like to thank Charity and Jeff Bathurst for letting us visit their farm. They have answered the questions that you, the consumers, wanted to know.